Today we are going to solve a problem on Porter Governor with the help of diagram. Porter Governor is the modified form of the Watt Governor with central load attached to the sleeve. In this video we are going to use simple basic formulas instead of using complicated formulas. Here the friction force is also considered. Now first I will read what is the given problem. In an engine governor of Porter type the upper and lower arms are 200 mm and 250 mm respectively and pivoted on the axis of rotation. The mass of the central load is 15 kg. The mass of each ball is 2 kg and friction of the sleeve together with resistance of operating gear is equal to a load of 24 newton at the sleeve. If the limiting inclination of the upper arms to the vertical are 30 degree and 40 degree, find taking friction into account range of speed of the governor. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the position of the fly balls when the governor is rotating with minimum speed n1. Now if we observe the diagram for minimum speed, here is the position of the fly balls. This is the pivoted point P and this is the arm PB. Angle made by with this vertical spindle axis with this arm is known as the angle alpha. Now if we observe the given question here, two angles are given that is alpha 1 and alpha 2. So we have to remember that when the speed is minimum then this angle alpha is also small. So in between here alpha 1 and alpha 2 that is in between this 30 degree and 40 degree, 30 degree is small. So we have to take here alpha 1 is equal to 30 degree. Now in the same way if we observe here the angle beta 1 is the angle made by with this link BD with the vertical spindle axis. So this beta 1 also should be small. Now we have to find out here the beta 1. Now small m is also given. So small m is nothing but the mass of the fly ball. So because of this mass of fly ball there is the weight that will act in vertically downward direction to the center of the fly ball. Then here is the centrifugal force that will act in radially outward direction through the center of the fly ball. So centrifugal force Fc is also shown. Now in case of Porter governor there is the central load and that will attach to the sleeve. So central load we have to show here that will act in vertically downward direction through the spindle axis. Now here capital M is given that is equal to 15 kg. So because of this mass of the central load there is the weight of the central load that will act in vertically downward direction. Now frictional force is also given. So what is the frictional force? That is 24 Newton. Now we have to remember that when the governor is rotating with minimum speed this central load or sleeve will move in the downward direction. So where is the movement of the sleeve? That is with minimum speed n1 sleeve will move in the downward direction and frictional force will act in the opposite direction. That means we have to show frictional force in the upward direction. So I will show here. Here is the direction of frictional force f. Because with minimum speed here sleeve will move in the downward direction. Now we have to draw here one horizontal line passing through the center of the fly ball. So this line is passing through the center. So we have to draw this line in the form of dash and dot. And intersection of this line with this vertical spindle axis we will say here the point G. Then this horizontal distance BG is known as R1 and the vertical distance from P to G is known as height H1. So we will first find out what is the value of R1. So for this B to G how to find out? Now here PBG is the right angle triangle. This alpha 1 is equal to 30 degree. This arm BP is given that is equal to 0 0.2 meter. So it is easy for us to find out this BG. So in this triangle 
BG is equal to BP sin 30. So this BP 0.2 sin 30 is 0.5 which is equal to 0.1 meter. Now in the same way we will find out vertical height H1. So how to find out H1 is equal to BP cos of 30. Because this is the nearby side to this angle alpha 1. So 0.2 into 0.866 which is equal to 0.1732 meter. So in this way this value of R1 and H1 is getting calculated. Now we will find out DG. So why we are going to find out DG? Because we have to also find out what is the angle beta 1. Then DG is equal to, if we observe here is also right angle triangle DBG. So DG is equal to BD square minus BG square and we have to take square root. So in this triangle we will take under root of 0.25 square minus 0.1 square which is equal to 0.23 meter. So this is the value of DG. Then we will find out tan of beta 1. So if we observe tan of beta 1 means what? So this is the angle beta 1 which is equal tan of beta 1 which is equal to opposite side divided by nearby side. That is BG divided by DG. So BG is 0.1. DG is also getting calculated 0.23 which is equal to 0.4348. Again we will find out what is tan of alpha 1. So tan of alpha 1 means what? Tan of 30 because alpha 1 is equal to 30 degree and which is equal to 0 0.5774. Now by considering the frictional force we will observe what is the basic formula. So here the basic formula is mg plus minus f by 2 plus small mg which is equal to fc by tan alpha minus capital mg plus minus f by 2 tan beta by tan alpha. So if we observe this formula we come to know that here because of the central load that is capital Mg we have to add or subtract this frictional force. Now this addition or subtraction of this frictional force will depend upon the what is the direction of the frictional force. So because here speed is minimum so frictional force limb will move in the downward direction and frictional force will act in the upward direction. Where as the central load which will act in vertically downward direction. So if we observe this diagram, this mg that is central load is in downward direction, frictional force in the upward direction, both are in opposite direction. So what is the net force? That is net force is mg minus f. So if we use here plus minus, so for minimum speed we have to use mg minus f for, for this both the cases. So what is the formula? So I will rewrite the formula. Here capital Mg minus F divided by 2 plus small Mg which is equal to. Now what is this Fc that is centrifugal force and centrifugal force is M R omega square. Where M is the mass of this flyball, R is nothing but here R1 and omega is the angular velocity. So here omega value is not directly mentioned in the question. So we will use here 2 pi n1 by 60 bracket square. Because n1 is for minimum speed. So I will write here mr1 2 pi n1 by 60 bracket square by tan alpha. Now if we observe what is the value of tan alpha. So tan alpha is nothing but r1 by h1. So I will write here r1 by h1 minus again mg minus f by 2 tan beta by tan alpha. So this is the simplified form. Now if we observe here this r1 r1 is getting cancelled. So here is r1 r1 is getting cancelled and we will move here h1 to the numerator. Now I will put the value. So capital M is 15, g is 9.81 minus 24 divided by 2. So what is the answer for if we calculate this whole then we will get here 61.57 then plus mg that is 2 into 9.81 that is equal to 19.62 which is equal to now here m is 2 multiplied by h1 is 0 0.1732 now 2 pi n1 bracket square that is 4 pi square n1 square divided by 60 square that is 3000. Uh, 600. So if we for calculate this we will get 0 0.00379 in one square. 
and then minus mg minus f by 2. So this both the terms are same. So we can take here directly this calculated value that is 61.57 for this whole term because this value is getting repeated. You multiplied by tan beta by tan alpha. So tan beta is 0 0.548 and tan alpha is 0 0.75. So if we calculate this we will get this. So again we will calculate. So first we have to multiply this and shift this term to the left hand side. And then again we have to divide this coefficient of n1 square that is 0 0.00379. So what is the value of n1 square that is 33297.5. Now we have to take square root for both these sides. So n1 is equal to 182.47 rpm. Let us first understand what is the position of the fly balls when the governor is rotating with maximum speed n2. So here is the position of the fly ball. This is the center point that is B. Where PB is the arm and BD is the leg. So about the pivoted point P, the arms are rotating. The angle made by this arm PB with this vertical spindle axis is known as angle alpha 2 and for maximum speed we have to select the larger angle. So in between 30 and 40 we will take here alpha 2 is equal to 40 degree. In the same way the angle made by this link PD with this vertical spindle axis is known as the angle beta 2. Now when we draw here one horizontal line passing through the center of this fly ball in the form of dash and dot, here is the point of intersection with this vertical spindle axis is known as point G. Where this BG is known as R2 and this vertical distance PG is known as H2. So we have to find out what is the value of this R2 and H2. Now Fc is the centrifugal force which will act in radially outward direction through the center of the fly ball. And because of mass of the fly ball there is the weight which will act in vertically downward direction through the center of fly ball. Now here the central load is attached in the case of Porter governor and that's why here the we have to show from the center there is the weight capital Mg that will act in vertically downward direction. Now when this governor is rotating with maximum speed the sleeve will move in the upward direction. So we know that the frictional force will act in the opposite direction of the movement. So here movement of the sleeve is in the upward direction so we have to show frictional force which will act in vertically downward direction. So I will show here. So this is the direction of the frictional force. Now we will first find out what is the distance R2. So how to find out? If we observe here is the triangle PBG. Here alpha 2 angle which is equal to 40 degree. So R2 is equal to this PB sine of 40 which is equal to 0 0.2 into 0 0.643 which is equal to 0 0.1268. Now again how to find out the H2. So here is also a triangle PBG and here H2 is one side PG. So how to find out that is BP cos of alpha 2 that is cos of 40. So if we put the value 0 0.2 into 0 0.766 which is equal to 0 0.1532 meter. Then again we will find out this distance dg. So how to uh, find out this distance dg? So again here is the triangle bgd. So for distance dg this bd that is the length of the link and here bg is nothing but r2. So r2 is getting calculated. So in this triangle we, we can say that under root of bd square minus bg square. So if we put values under root of 0 0.25 square minus 0 0.1268 square which is equal to 0 0.2154 meter. So this is the value of D to G. Now we will move for the calculation of angle beta 2. So here this is the angle beta 2 how to find out. So I will find out what is the value of tan of beta 2. So tan of beta 2 means what? Opposite side divided by nearby side. That is Bg divided by Dg. So tan of beta 2 is equal to 0 0.59. Now in the same way we will find out alpha 2. 
that is tan of alpha 2 so tan of alpha 2 alpha 2 is 40 so tan of 40 0 0.839 so what is the ratio of tan of beta 2 by alpha 2 which is equal to 0 0.8 7, 0, 3. Now why we have calculated this ratio that is tan of beta 2 by tan of alpha 2 because if we observe the basic formula by considering this frictional force F then here is the basic formula capital Mg plus minus F divided by 2 plus small mg which is equal to Fc by tan alpha minus Mg plus minus F by 2 tan beta by tan alpha. So we have to calculate here directly tan beta that is in case of maximum speed we have to take tan beta 2 by tan alpha 2. Now we will simplify this formula. So how to simplify? So we know that uh, this mg that is for this central load there is also the frictional force that we have to take into consideration. So if we observe this mg is in the downward direction as well as this F is also in downward direction that is both these forces are in same direction so we have to add this that is mg plus F divided by 2 then plus mg we will keep here as it is which is equal to now Fc so Fc is the centrifugal force so centrifugal force means what mr omega square so here instead of r we have to consider r2 then omega means what? 2 pi n by 60. So instead of n, we will consider here maximum speed n2. So again we will write here mr2 in the bracket 2 pi n2 by 60 bracket square divided by now tan of alpha. So instead of tan of alpha, we will write here tan of alpha 2. So what is the tan of alpha 2? That is r2 divided by h2. So I will write here r2 divided by h2 minus again we will take here central load so for the central load we have to take mg plus f divided by 2 so instead of mg we have to use mg plus f and again multiplied by tan of beta by tan of alpha now we will put all the values so here mg plus f by 2 that is 15 into 9.81 plus 24 by 2 plus 2 into 9.81 which is equal to if we observe this r2 r2 is getting cancelled so h2 we can take this into numerator so this small m is 2 multiplied by 2 pi n2 square that is 4 pi square n2 square into h2 0 0.1532 div divided by 60 square that is 3600 minus again mg plus f by 2 it is 15 into 9.81 plus 24 by 2 and tan beta by tan alpha is 0 0.703. So if we calculate this, we will get N2 is equal to 222 RPM. Now what is the range of speed? So range of speed is the difference in between maximum speed and minimum speed. That is N2 minus N1 which is equal to 38.7 RPM and this is the answer.